Physics Challenge 1 Dielectric Materials. Okay, we have a two capacitor in series. Okay, and we apply the voltage. So let's see capacitor C1 and C2. And the voltage across is V1 and V2. So we know the charge accumulated Q is same as negative Q here. So it's going to be Q over C1 that's a voltage plus Q over C2 that's voltage 2 is going to be total voltage and if we consider this as a single capacitor total voltage is going to be Q over C so we know total capacity is C2. So C equals C1, uh, C2, uh, C1 plus C2 over C1, C2. Right? So 0 0.5 micro, 0 0.2 micro, and 0 0.2 micro plus 0 0.5 micro. Okay. So that's a total capacitance. So it's going to be 0 .0, uh, 0 0.1 micro micro and 0 0.7 micro. So it's going to be 1 divided by 7. Zero point one four three micro. Okay, so that, that's a total capacitance. So using this, the Q is going to be V is two twenty. Q is two twenty times zero point one four three micro. Okay. Let me pull out the calculator. 31, 31.46 micro coulomb. Okay, so that's the charge. Uh, energy is going to be QV1. Uh, you can multiply in QV2. Okay, don't make it one half QV, okay. This is only for the uh, monopole capacitor. Monopole means standalone. Okay, if you have negative side, it's going to double. Okay, the I explained this in the another video. You can check uh, electrical characteristic. The the physics you learn this formula and you tend to use this one. This is wrong for the this type of capacitor. The capacitor energy is QV. Okay. Um, electrical engineers, they always use QV. They know that the physics student tend to use this one over two because they learn the formula in physics books. But they have to uh, understand that's only for monopole capacitor against infinity and when you have two uh, electrode it's going to double i hope you enjoyed this video please check other videos and if you like subscribe